Welcome back, YCN Sports Talk, Jeremy Stout, Dave Collins, and Dave, before we get to the college football, let's talk about some college basketball we have coming up on the channel uh, this weekend. Yep, this Saturday uh, we have college women's basketball starting off at high noon, West Liberty at Fairmont State. Two o'clock, you've got Kennesaw State at Mercer, that's on the women's side. Four o'clock, men's basketball, a big five matchup from the Leah Cor Center on North Broad Street in Philadelphia. Penn will take on Temple. And then next Wednesday, December 7th, we debut uh, high school girls basketball here on YCN. 8 o'clock on Wednesday night, right after our show, Hillsborough Deering will take on Fall Mountain. By the way, any questions, concerns, or comments, sports talk at YCNnow.com. You can get the schedule at YCNnow.com as well. And we'll be on the, I'll be on the call, I believe, with Andrew Zerhide. And uh, so it'll be exciting to start the high school basketball season. I believe um, Vermont just started practicing. Yep. And obviously in New Hampshire, the games are starting pretty soon. Uh, let's go over to college football. The new rankings came out Tuesday night. <laughs> Alabama, Ohio State, Clemson, and Washington with Michigan sitting at number five. First of all, let's just react to those. Really no question about those. Even with Ohio State's close win over Michigan, uh, they deserve to stay up there. Yes. Washington, were you surprised or was that expected with the loser of the Ohio State-Michigan game falling out? And Washington, as long as they won, they'd move up there. No, because they're the only team with one loss. Of course, there's Western Michigan right. <laughs> with no losses that I'm vying for. Uh, by the way, Michigan at number five, Wisconsin right. at uh, 10 and 2, they're number six. Penn State, 10 and 2, number six. Here's my thing with the co and I've heard tons of this stuff, and we talked about. And, oh yeah, you know, and we, we and went we back and forth last who's week. Who's going to be in? We can't guess because it's not like any other league where it's based on standings and records right. and head-to-head -head and point differential. This is an opinion of right. a committee. Yep. Condoleezza Rice. Yes, you remember she's on this committee. I don't know how I much input that, she has. I think somebody from some of the teams are on there too. So we can't make a decision because we don't know what's going on in those back rooms right. and who's making deals with who and who thinks who should be where. Um, okay, Alabama, so, yes. Right, Alabama's definitely in. Ohio State, Clemson, Washington, yes. Because those three, Ohio State, Clemson, and Washington, all with one loss. Michigan, right. Wisconsin, and Penn State each have two losses. You also have Colorado in there that jumped yep. up a spot. And they're now at number nine. And they play and, Washington for the, for the championship. And, right, and everything will play out on Saturday. And then the, the ratings will be released on Sunday. Right. I'd love to see Western Michigan get in. It's not going to happen. Right. And then you're going to you can ask me, well, what happens if Penn State wins over Wisconsin? Where does Wisconsin fall? What if Colorado beats right. Washington? Okay, into but we won't try and predict what the committee's going to do because you're right, that's too hard to do. So let's just play it as who do you think are the four best teams? If these four that are in already win, they should stay in. But what happens if Washington? They're only a seven point favorite. If they lose, who do you think? Not who do we think the committee's going to pick because you're right, you okay. can't predict what they're going to think. Does Penn State beat Wisconsin? If, if Penn See, State, that's, there's so many variables. So who are the four best teams? I guess I'm asking you, and we tried doing this last week. We ran out of time, but I'm saying who are the four best teams in the country? Right now, as we tape this on Wednesday, Alabama 1, Ohio State 2, Clemson 3, Washington 4. So you don't have any problem with this? Not as of right now. Well, After Saturday night. But, how much, but I guess I'm trying to say is how much can be determined in one week if Washington loses? And Penn State beats Wisconsin, right, then so Penn State so, goes so to So then Penn four. State would be that, – that's what I'm trying to f find out because you're right. We can't predict what the committee's going to do. That's, that's and, foolish to try and predict what, what they're going to do. But you can tell me who you think the four best teams are. Are, are we flashing back 15 years, Jeremy, where uh, defeat of the opponent by the amount of points is taken into right. account? You know, Clemson's a huge favorite over Virginia Tech right. if they don't beat them by the spread, which is, what, 14, 15 yeah, points? Yeah, it's, it's over two touchdowns. Okay. Or it might be two touchdowns. What if they only beat them by a field goal right. or a point, like Ohio State beat Michigan this right. past Sunday? So, okay, so now this we've talked about the games and the scenarios, and you mentioned this, and I completely agree with you. What's the point of having these conferences and these championships other than revenue if all we're going to do at the end of the year is take – an who opinion. you played, and then say, oh, I like these four best teams. I, I Why think, have a championship? Well, I, I'm not sure because I think we're going right. back to 10 or 15 years where that strength of schedule all comes into play. Something that they tried to eliminate because right. you didn't blow out a team 56-3. to three. You only beat them 21-14. to 14. That's in a factor. Right. Uh, how, many, how many percentage points out of 100 is that going to matter? Clemson needs to blow. If for everything to stay the same, the top teams need to win and yep. win decisively. Right. And Penn State, for me, Penn State needs right. to beat Wisconsin, which I think they can. Oh, I think they can too. And it's funny because the Big 12 got all the flack for not having a championship game. Now they've instituted one. Yep. But now it seems like do championship games even matter because well, you have two teams playing for a championship who both might not get in. And you also have to take into account this. How long do the fans, how many times do the fans want to travel? 
You yeah. Know, now you've got a Big right. 12 championship game that you have to go to. And then you might have to go to a bowl game, bowl game. But you might have to go to the playoff game, which could be in another city. Right. They have to take into account that because some of these teams aren't going to travel that well, especially they hold these championships in domes, 60, 70,000 people. Yep. You're going to have half the stadium empty. All right. Well, next week we will have yes, an answer. Yes, finally. We will Western finally Michigan have Penn an answer. State. Western there you Michigan. Go. All right. We're going to take one final break. We'll come back, talk some local stuff, Dartmouth basketball, off to a rocky start, the hockey team getting a win on the road, and our picks when we come back. YCN Sports Talk. <laughs> 